How you doing anglers? This is Wesley Remmer with the Peninsula Clarion and you're watching Tight Lines, your hub for all things fish on the central Kenai Peninsula. Well this Friday marks the change from the early run of King Salmon on the Kenai River to the late run and anglers anxious to catch one of those fish can up their chances by adding bait to their tackle. The river opens to fishing with bait at 12.01 a.m. Friday from regulatory markers about 300 yards downstream of Slycock Creek between river miles 18 and 19 downstream to the river's mouth. Fishing for kings, however, has yet to heat up. Jason Pollock, an assistant area management biologist with the Department of Fish and Game, described the fishing as very slow. Over the past week, Pollock told me, an average of less than 150 kings had passed through the sonar each day. That's well below the two to 300 the department would expect at this time during average years. Pollock said the lower Kenai is nearly devoid of fish with test netters yielding single digits many days. The low counts mean king fishing will be slow in early July, Pollock told me, unless a flood of fish comes in the next couple days, which is unlikely based on tides and other factors. It's not looking good for the start of the next run based on what we're seeing now, Pollock added. We're just not seeing fish, so that gives us concern going into July. An emergency order took effect at 12.01 a.m. Wednesday and runs through 11.59 p.m. July 14th. It prohibits anglers from using bait and retaining kings larger than 20 inches and smaller than 55 inches in a 31-mile stretch of water beginning 300 yards downstream of the mouth of Slycock upstream to the outlet of Skelac Lake. The restriction also includes the Moose River from its confluence with the Kenai upstream to the northernmost edge of the Sterling Highway Bridge. An estimated 9,694 kings had passed through the sonar as of Tuesday, according to Fish and Game, but only 66 passed on Monday. Pollock said a foot survey completed by the department a few days ago in the sanctuary of the Russian River showed about 4,100 sockeye holding in the area. A second survey, it completed Tuesday, revealed 1,400 in the same water. Remember, the sanctuary is, is closed until July 15th, so check the regulations for details. The department's most recent count, released Tuesday, had the season passage for sockeye at 16,481 on the Russian. To the south, another emergency order was issued to protect Anchor River Kings. The order prohibits the use of bait and treble hooks and closes fishing two miles north and south of the river's mouth. It goes into effect at 12.01 a.m. Friday and runs through 11.59 p.m. July 31st. The lower portions of the Anchor River, Deep Creek, and Starisky Creek will open Friday to all sport fishing except kings, which must be released. The Ninilchik reopens the kings on Friday, including hatchery fish. On the Anchor, anglers must use unbaited single hooks or artificial lures through July 31st. Bait and treble hook are allowed on Deep Creek, Starisky Creek, and on the Ninilchik. Halibut fishing, meanwhile, has been steady out of Homer, Deep Creek, and Anchor Point, according to Carolyn Bunker of Fish and Game. Bunker told me many anglers have been catching their bag limits and the fish have averaged about 20 pounds, ranging from six all the way up to 156. And in other saltwater fishing, lingcod season opens Friday. There is a minimum size limit of 35 inches with a bag limit of two per angler per day. Try fishing the rock piles and pinnacles off Elizabeth Island and Kennedy Entrance, Bunker told me. There also will be good clamming tides through July 5th, but an emergency order was issued to reduce the sport and personal use bag possession limits for Little Neck and Butter Clams in Cook Inlet and Resurrection Bay from 1,000 Little Neck Clams and 700 Butter Clams to a combined limit of 80 clams. Remember as well, there are 27 stocked lakes on the Kenai Peninsula, and fishing has been described as good to steady in many of them. Contact Fish and Game for more information. That's all I've got for you this week, anglers. If you have questions or comments, please email us at tightlines at peninsulaclarion.com. Best of luck fishing this weekend. Happy 4th of July. And remember, the right line is always a tight line.